I'm Scott Bain, they call me the old farmer. Today we're going to be looking at the Franklin workstation available from Harbor Freight. Coming up next. I want to go back, he wants to go back. I want to go back to the farm. Back far away from home, with a milk pail on my arm. I miss the rooster, the one that used to wake me up at 4 a.m. Down on the farm. This is the Franklin workstation from Harbor Freight, unboxed and sitting on a table. It comes all closed up. Your job when you get it and unbox it is to go through and open it up. It's a little complicated the first time. It's not the easiest setup. The first thing to do is unlock this brake here, slide this down so that it will, see, it locks into place right like this. So you bring it around and you drop the leg in place. There's a support down there. Then you lock the cam down again. Now for this one over here, we lift up and if you see, we have right here a little latch. So it just kind of snaps into place. It locks behind hold the leg firm. This side does the same thing too. And now the control bar or foot pedal comes up and locks into place like this. And that's how you set it up. So that you can go through and when you're done, flip it around. And there you have a workstation. This weighs 42 pounds. So in some situations it's going to be a little difficult to handle. And I think if I were taking it to a job site and I had the room, I would just leave it like this and lay it on its side in the back of the truck. That's the way I would do it. Right here we have a locking thread right here. It's a screw. It locks everything down so it won't move. We open this up so things are sitting just a touch wobbly. There is right here a switch and we want this in the unlocked position at this point because to release this you have to step on the uh, the pedal just a little bit and then it re releases. Now if you have a super wide piece you can flip it around like this, put it back in and then you can do wider pieces of material to hold into place. But for most things, flipping it this way, one bad thing about it, setting it back on, you're a little blind, hard to see everything in place. This is a piece of styrofoam that I have right here. Which is, it's just handy, I grabbed it. So the way that you would lock things down is you would pump on, on the foot piece and you can bring it up that way or you can just slide it into place. Now you put it into lock mode, which means that as, if, as you press down on the uh, foot pedal, it squeezes and it'll hold it in place. They say it has one ton, 2,000 pounds of clamping pressure. 
The mechanism may have that, but I doubt that you could put the equivalent force down on the foot pedal. It's a little light for me. It could be built a little bit stronger. It's uh, bent metal. And I've got nothing wrong with bent metal. Maybe 16 gauge or 18 gauge. Could have had some bracing behind it to make it a little bit sturdier. But to release something, you put the lock back up into unlock, step on it, and then it will release. And you can see right on the styrofoam, see if I can get it. Here we go. You can see that on styrofoam, it imprints. But I've used it for a wood project and had no problems with it. If we take a look down here, you can see that the leg is sitting almost on the foot pad, almost on the ground. You can adjust that by opening this cam and it will lock into place. There we go. Now, now it rests on the foot pad. The price on this was $109. I had a $10 off coupon, made it $99. And I got it because I was able to get a hold of my uncle's 70 year old arc welder. And besides having a welding table, I have this workstation that will help hold pieces together along with magnets and the clamps and things like that. So besides woodworking, which I have a, another video coming up that will show you how I use this in woodworking, I made a cutting board for my son and I shipped it to him. He thought I bought it from some place, from a professional place and, and uh, had it shipped to him. Then he realized that I had actually made the uh, cutting board for him from scratch. And I use this workstation quite a bit. What are some of the flaws on it? Well, a little awkward on setting up. Not a deal breaker at all. The uh, foot pedal here, as I said, you know, for most things it would be okay, but if you're going to put a ton of pressure on it with this thing, that's a that's a lot of pressure. I don't uh, I don't think it could exert that amount of pressure without bending. So I think that's a little bit too light. And the release, until you get familiar with the release, it will argue with you a little bit. But once you do. See right there, it didn't release. There we go. It can argue with you, and I, I don't appreciate equipment that argues with me. So overall, I would say, I think th this would be perfect for these reasons. If you don't have a workbench yet, this is an excellent first step so that you can hold objects down while you're working on it. If you're welding, I think it's a, a good thing to have. And if you want something that will give you a third hand that's heavy enough to be able to handle most projects, well, this will be able to do it. Is it worth the $99 I paid for? Well, in, in my, my philosophy, I kind of look at what things cost as they make them. And I want to make sure that there's profit put in, into things so that uh, they can continue making things rather than a government coming through and saying it has to be this price as we did back in the 70s with uh, Jimmy Carter with uh, uh, price caps. Companies have to make money. And it depends on how many layers of profit that we have to build in. Every time this goes through someone, they will add an additional profit on top of it. So let's say, for example, this thing cost $50 out the door uh, from the factory. 
and they, they make a good profit at $50 and turning it out. And Franklin bought these, and they may throw $25 onto the price. And then Harbor Freight buys them from uh, Franklin, and they throw another $50 for the list price onto it with coupons that will take it down to a lower price. See, every step of the way, different layers add more, uh, a layer of profit to it. And that's why some of the things that we see out there are so doggone expensive. It's either that or they're gouging, one of the two. But I would say conversationally that uh, if you can get it for around the $100 mark on it, that you got yourself a good little unit that will be handy out in the field and in the shop for woodworking, for working on materials, uh, blacksmithing. I wouldn't put anything hot in there, but I could see where you could hold something in there that isn't hot, because this, this is a rubberized type uh, pad on it. It's, it's not a steel pad. And it would be good for welding, holding something in place while you're welding two pieces together. So this is the Franklin workstation. I think it does a pretty good job. A couple of things could be a little bit better and still be able to meet the price point. But occasionally we see things improve down the road. Hopefully this will be one. But for right now, it's worth getting it if it meets your criteria of something that would be handy for you. This is Scott Bain, the old farmer. Be well. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Dum, 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 dum.